Hi everybody, hope you're doing well on this Monday, um, day six of digital learning. I am going to work through a few math problems with you before you practice some on your own. We are going to continue with the work we started last week. We're going to do some more problem solving with all different types of measurement again this week. We're going to look at distance today and then we're going to look at some elapsed time and some money over the next couple of days because those things were a little tricky for some of us last week so we need a little bit more practice and that is fine. So your slides this week are called measurement practice. You'll find them under cross math um, or maybe just math from a spell students under the content section of your e-class page. And we're going to try something new this week. We're going to take a break from estimation 180. I don't want you to panic but I think this will be kind of a fun change up. We've done this once or twice way back at the beginning of the year, but I wanted to try it a little bit different this week. So we're going to be playing a game this week called Would You Rather? And you're going to have to think about some things, solve some problems, and decide which of the two things you would rather do and tell us why. So I'm going to model the first one today, um, and then you can write in your Google Doc for the week under Math for Monday why you make the choice that you make, which one you would prefer, okay? So if you flip to the next slide, you will see the would you rather question. And it says, would you rather read 12 pages every night in a chapter book with 144 pages, or would you rather read 50 pages three times a week in a chapter book with 132 pages? Now, I will tell you, there is not a right or wrong answer for this. You just aren't saying which one you would prefer and why. So as long as you give us a good reason why, you're correct. So I'm going to think this through for a minute. If I read 12 pages every night for 144 pages, I'm going to think about those numbers for a minute. Does anybody notice a connection already between the number 12 and 144? Hopefully, you remember that 12 times 12 equals 144. So if I did this, if I read 12 pages a night and my book had 144 pages, I would do that for 12 nights. So I would finish my book in 12 days. Okay? So now if I think about the other side over here, if I'm reading 50 pages three times a week for a total of 132 pages. Let's think about that for a minute. If I read 50 pages three times a week, that'd be 50 plus 50 plus 53 times 50. We could also write like that. And what would our answer be? Hopefully you remember 3 times 5 is 15 with that 0. So that would let me read 150 pages in 3 days. Now that is more than my book. So I would finish a book in 3 days doing it this way. Or this book I'd finish in 12 days. So think about that and think about which one you would rather do. All right, and in your Google Doc, you're going to type that up with an explanation. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple of problems. Okay, so Jeremiah ran 15 meters Monday, and he did the same thing for five days. So every weekday from Monday through Friday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So he did that five times. And the question is, how far did he run in all? So we should be thinking of the operation of either addition or maybe multiplication. So he did this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I could be thinking either repeated addition or or multiplication. I'm going to do multiplication. Right? Now if you remember, we can do this. We can decompose our 15 into a 10 
and 5, and we can multiply both of those numbers by Mom. 5. Yes, are you going to teach for a little bit? Can you teach? What's that, Gator? That's a J. We have a guest instructor today. What's that, Gator? <laughs> Look, what's this one? H. No, right there. What's that? For Shelby. Yeah, what is it for Shelby? Uh, X. All right. Mr. Cross, could you please come and get the guest instructor for me? Can you say hi? <laughs> I see myself. <laughs> you see yourself. Uh huh. Where did where that who where that where him where who where who you where are you talking who? All right. So if I multiply this way, <laughs> uh oh, he wants to be in math class with you guys. I'm sorry. If we multiply this, we do five times ten, which is fifty. And 5 times 5, which is 25, and then we add those up for a total of 75 meters. So he ran a total of 75 meters. Good job, Jeremiah. Okay. Now, if you look at the next slide, we see Caitlin used her smartphone to keep track of how far she runs during her workout. Here are her distances. Now this is a little trickier because we have a lot more information, a lot more numbers. Um, and I'm going to show you the way I would do this. You could also use a number line. Um, I was thinking about that. You could do a number line for your kilometers, a number line for your meters, and a number line for your centimeters. You might need to do some converting when you add those up. I think that would be a little tricky. So I'm going to show you how I would add this and we're going to see what happens. So these were her days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we have 5 kilometers, 430 meters, and 0 centimeters. 4 kilometers, 789 meters, 34 centimeters. 6 kilometers, 967 meters, 56 centimeters. And 5 kilometers, 5 meters, and 10 centimeters. And what I tried to do was to line these place values up pretty evenly so I'm just going to add them right like this so you could write this out on a piece of paper and add these up yourself so I'm just going to do my kilometers here my meters here and my centimeters here okay so for my kilometers I notice I have a five and a five which is ten and a four and a six which is also ten so I know that I have twenty kilometers now this one gets a little trickier. Pay attention to place value. Be sure you're, you're lining everything up. 0 plus 9 plus 7 is 16 plus 5 is 21. So my 1 and I'm carrying my 2. So now I have 3 plus 8 which is 11 plus 6 which is 17 plus 2 which is 19. Carry my 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. 7 plus 4 is 11. So again, that's 21. 16. Yeah, 21. Okay, so 21 meters. All right, now I'm going to come back to that in a minute. But let's do my centimeters first. I have four, 0 plus 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 0, so 10. 3 plus 5 is 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now, we're going to do a little bit of converting. What do you remember about 100 centimeters? What is that equal to? Do you remember from last week? You can go back and look at your slides or your notes. But this equals 1 meter. So I'm going to change this to a 2. And I'm going to have moved that over here. So now I have 2,192 meters. Do you remember how we get from meters to kilometers? If you remember, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. I have 2,192. So if I take this 2,000, 2,000 kilometers, I'm sorry, 2,000 meters, whoops, is equal to 2 kilometers. So I'm going to add that here. So I have 22 kilometers, and then I have this 100 and 92 meters. That's kind of the leftover. I can't make up a whole kilometer. Um, it's almost like a remainder. So 
When I add this all together, we see that she ran 22 kilometers and 192 meters. How many more meters would she have to run to get to another kilometer? Maybe you can figure that out. All right, so you're now going to go into your practice sheet. It is on the cross math page or your math page under content. Please um, enjoy your summary. We guys miss you so much. We do not enjoy long distance relationships with our students. We can't wait till we can see you again every day. And um, please let us know if you have any questions. All right, bye.